up? It's your boy King of Creams. What is going on everybody? It is your boy King of Creams and welcome to another episode of the Yellow Label. Today we have a very special episode. It's probably gonna be one of the best episodes that I think is gonna be on my channel. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and make sure you leave comments. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna give you the Pharrell nod like I always do. So sit back, relax and let's jump right into it. Welcome to the Yellow Label. All right, so today, I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna to explain today's episodes. Uh, Nike, Off-White, Friends and Family, and yes, N-E-R-D, that's all I'm gonna say. That is the most hyped sneaker for me in 2021. So I'm gonna review that last, and I'm gonna start first with the Lemonade Off-White. Oh my gosh. All right, so jumping right into it, I wanna say shout out to Virgil, shout out to everybody from Off-White for hooking me up with these shoes. They call this one the Lemonade. Now, it's a simple shoe, it's the Air Force One silhouette. You have the Off-White signature tag, which I don't know why, but I think this makes a whole shoe. Um, you guys know that the Air Force One is a staple when it comes to Nike. So this shoe I think was done very well. You have Virgil touches with the air in quotations. You have the tumbled leather with the Nike check, which is silver. And of course, you have the inside of the shoe. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. You have the inside of the shoe, which is exposed. And that's also a Virgil touch. On this side, you have the Oregon USA off-white trademark. The thing about this shoe that I love, guys, and if you already know me, you're gonna say, the love that is yellow. Any shoe that's yellow, I'm definitely going for it. So this shoe retailed at 160, and I checked the other day, I just literally just decided to Google the shoe, and I see that the resale value is already up to $2,000. So if I have any uh, buyers, this one's a nine and a half if you guys wanna take it. The Virgil Off-White uh, sold out in minutes. Some people couldn't even get their hands on it. It was supposed to actually come out first as an employee exclusive, and I was like, damn, I'm not gonna have a choice. But you know, I'm the king of creams. Um, let me stop. Uh, so we have the Off-White Air Force One Lemonade. Guys, if you can get your hands on this, try to do it. Uh, if you have that type of money, you can definitely try to do it, but right now these aren't for sale, but if I get a good offer, you can help me out with it. So shout out to Virgil, shout out to Off-White, and thank you guys again for hooking me up with the Air Force One Nike Lemonade. Disrespect me. Tell me I'm older. Tell me I'm slower. Tell me I can no longer fly. I want you to. All right, so next we're gonna shift over and we're gonna go to the Jordan brand. Uh, two things about the Jordan brand. A, we have the Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange and B, uh, we'll talk about exactly what I'm sitting on right over here, this box, later on. But we're going to shift over to the Air Jordan 1. Now, the Air Jordan 1 is obviously a staple in the uh, Air Jordan community, and also it is a historic shoe worldwide. We all know that, right? I'm usually not the type to get Air Jordan 1s that aren't an original. Uh, but when I saw these, I definitely had to make my request to Nike and get these. So these are called the Air Jordan High uh, Electro Orange, and most people will consider them as the Shattered Backboards 3.0 or the Poor Man's Shattered Backboard, which I actually, I don't know, I don't like that name. So on July 17th, Nike releases the Electro High Air Jordan 1. Because if you know if this was mids, I wouldn't even be talking about it. One of my favorite parts about this shoe is that it incorporates the black toe. Now with this shoe, okay, so you do have it at the, the length that everyone loves it at because, pause, because if it was mid, nobody would be talking about it. You have the orange metallic, that's going to be on the top of the heel. On the inside, it says Nike Air. And one thing I will notice about the shoe with the Nike Air is that on the regular ones, I want to say regular because I do consider this a retro plus. Retro plus meaning that the shoe was never really released back in 1985. So uh, it also contains a larger Nike Air that's going to be on the tongue. Now the shoe does have the black toe design on the front and you have uh, white that's going to be on the back. 
The Air Jordan comes with the black and you have the metallic orange at the top. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, the Air Jordan 1 did come in metallic back in 1985, but it was all white and it had an orange uh, swoosh on the side. So the cool thing about this shoe is that it does come with two pair of laces. You have orange and you have white. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave these out just because I'm plain Jane and I like the way that it looks. Now, uh, this shoe retailed for, I believe, 150. Um, like I said, July 17th release. Nothing is pretty much different uh, about the shoe besides the color. A lot of people don't like the shattered backboard 3.0, but I do love it. I do have the first shattered backboards. Uh, I love those a lot. And if you don't know why they're called the shattered backboards, probably should do your homework. All right, the bottom is laced with all orange, which means I'm definitely not gonna wear it because I definitely love how this color hits, man. These colors definitely do go together. This is gonna be great wearing us on Halloween. <laughs> so we have the Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange Nike, great job on this, or the Shattered Backboards 3.0. All right, next up on the list, we have the Air Jordan Racer. I was almost gonna say Ricer. Who drives Ricers? I mean, American Muscle, baby. We have the Air Jordan Racer Blue 3. Okay, so a couple things on this. These are not the true blue, all right? They're not, okay? That's number one. Number two, the racer blue. I read why they called it that, but I, I totally just blanked. I don't know. All right, so I have never really been a fan of the Air Jordan 3, and I know that's just, like, not supposed to be said at all. But uh, the thing I like about this shoe is that it has... Don't call me, don't call me crazy for this one. This is my first Air Jordan 3 with the uh, Jumpman in the air on the bottom. Um, I used to collect Jordans way back in the day, and for some reason, we all frowned upon this, but now I kind of like it. So all of my Air Jordan 3s have the Nike sound on the back, but this one has the, uh, the Jumpman. Nothing too crazy about this shoe. You have a, a new colorway, which they call the Racer Blue. I feel like the elephant print is a little bit raised on this shoe. I want to say that this is probably one of the most uh, famous uh, Air Jordan shoes of all time. For me, it's not. Uh, my favorite Air Jordan shoes are gonna be six, seven, nine, 12, 13, and uh, two is gonna be my sixth man. So you have the raised uh, elephant print that runs along the heel tab. It feels a little bit different than the previous Air Jordan 3s. Obviously, it's gonna run along the toe cap area as well. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, except you have the Jumpman that's gonna be in the back, which says uh, Air on the bottom of the Jumpman. On the tongue, you also have the Jumpman, which is gonna be also in the Racer Blue. And that is pretty much it about the shoe. You just have the Nike Zoom uh, air bubble that's gonna be on the bottom right over here. Uh, I will probably will be wearing these shoes this year, but you guys know me, so I'm probably not gonna be wearing the shoe. Uh, it is a cool colorway. It's not my favorite of all of them. I like the UNCs a little bit better, but um, I don't wanna get them confused with the true blue, and this is the racer blue. Now, with the box, they stuck along and they did the same thing. You have the elephant print that's gonna be on the box, and you also have the racer blue color that's gonna be in the Jumpman. Try to go out and get these guys if you are into the Retro Plus. Once again, I call them a Retro Plus just because they aren't an, an original color. So next up, we have the Air Jordan Racer Blue 3. See my face right now? It's amazing. Um, so let's just jump into the packaging first. All right. 
screw every sneaker on this list. You see my face right now? Look at everything I just talked about, right? Because this is why we're really here. So back in like March, I had seen uh, a picture of uh, what I'm about to show you. And I was actually like, tell me this is not about to happen. Now, for those of you that have been collecting NMDs, you know that there are a bunch of NERD um, silhouettes that dropped, all pretty much hard to get. Um, and when I first saw these, I'm like, no way. Now, instantly, I already knew what it was about. So if you are a diehard NERD fan, when I saw this, so my first image of this shoe was just seeing the back of the shoe. So all I saw was the 20 and the star, right? And I'm like this. Yo, tell me this is not gonna be for the 20th anniversary of In Search Of. So I let a couple months go by and I see another image I'm like this. Yo, I have to get my hand on a pair of these. Now, why is this shoe so special? And why is it so special to me? Y'all see my face right now, right? So for those of you who don't know, uh, Nerd dropped an album August 6, 2001. That changed everybody's life, right? And that is why I am here today talking to you guys because that is the first album that made me say, who is this band? How can I find out more about them, right? The first song I ever heard off of that album was Before you go, I want to talk to you. Run to the sun. And I was hooked ever since. Guys, if you have one of these, you're lucky. If you don't, I'm so sorry. But here we have, got them right here. The Adidas NMD In Search Of 20 year anniversary. I don't know whether to scream. I don't know, y'all see my face right now? It's amazing. Um, so let's just jump into the packaging first. So if you got one of these, they came in a box, the tape, that surrounds the package has a 20, so it's, a, it's the nerd font. It has a 20 font with the star. It's around the entire box. I'm like, nah, son, nah. Open it up, and here you have it. So there's a couple things I love about this shoe. I actually am so excited about what is in the box, not only the shoe, just how they personalized it, right? So before we get to the shoe, let's talk about, let's, let's get into the box. So this is what comes in the box. When you first open it up, you got the skate grip, all right? So this is, this actually will surround the entire box and it comes with an extra skate grip that you can get and put on a skateboard. Second thing is, once you get the skate grip off, so on the front you have the NERD, the brain right on the front. On the back of the box, you have the 20 and the uh, in search of font. Same thing with the front. You have the stars in between. You open it up. I believe when you open it up, if I'm wrong, uh, you have the Adidas symbol with the Pharrell. I think that's right over here. And it has the 20 right on the left. Oh, that's your left, my right. And then you have the brain in the middle. But here is what got me, All right? So I opened it up. I'm just gonna hold this right here for a second. Do y'all see that? What does it say? Wow. Now I'm sitting on a friends and family Jordan box cooler and I'm more amped about this. Commemorative nerd card celebrating the 20th anniversary of the lease of Nerd's iconic debut album In Search Of. Boom. For me, it's more about not just the shoe but it's actually more, and put this for product placement, it's more about the actual album. That album changed my life, and I'm sure it changed a lot of people who are listening. I'm sure it changed your life too. So with the, with the Nerd shoe, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna have you guys just look at it. We're not even gonna talk about it. You guys can take a look at it. You can have the thoughts run through your mind, because I'm not even gonna review it. I, it's not, my review means nothing. I'm sorry. Just, th these shoes are unbelievable. The only thing I'm gonna say is that the inside are two different colors. And it's funny that if you can see the inside, you have the blue and you have a peach. And on the back, you have almost a reverse that's gonna be on the heel tag. 
It has the brain, which have been seen on previous Nerd models, but on this side it has the 20, celebrating the 20th anniversary of the In Search Of. I'm not gonna say anything else about this shoe. Right? When I first saw it, I thought the bottom were an icy blue. Now on the inside of the shoe, what you guys cannot see is that it says sample on the side, which y'all know I love samples. Guys, I wanna say after this shoe, I might just go into retirement. It's that serious. What a way to go out with, with, a, with, with a bang. You have the NERD Times Adidas, um, the In Search Of, that's what I'm calling these, the In Search Of. So we're not even gonna call these the 20th anniversary. We're gonna call these the In Search Of. Uh, I hope that every, you guys hit me up right now as I'm, uh, as I'm reviewing these. We have the In Search Of Adidas Times Nerd, and I hope that this will be the last nerds. Just finish out on top, Adidas. Finish out on, on, on top with these. Um, these are probably, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna say. These are probably my favorite out of all the uh, NMDs. So um, I just wanna thank Adidas. I wanna thank Nerd. I wanna thank Pharrell. I wanna thank Mimi, everybody at BBC, everyone at I Am Mother. Thank you so much for uh, gifting me these. I'm so happy. I'm so um, honored to own a pair with my name on the taping. Th guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. NERD in search of. Alright, so when I get my shoes, um, I'm honored that they put the King of Creams on the label. I think I'm like super important sometimes when they write that. Just seeing that, like you kind of made a name for yourself, uh, it really means a lot. So, you know, thank you Nike and thank you Off-White. But here comes my brother and just outdoes everything that I do all the time. And this is the friends and family box that he got from uh, Nike. So I'm not even gonna say anything about it. I'm just gonna open up the box and just show you everything that he got from this. So this is the Delta Air Jordan. And this is from uh, Jordan Brands. So let's just open this cooler up. So first of all, it's a cooler, right? It, uh, it takes about two people to carry this. And uh, this is what you get inside the cooler. Oh, my gosh. So off the bat, you get a uh, Bluetooth speaker. You're actually gonna get a camera. And then Jumpman included all of these amazing goodies on the inside. Uh, I see some film. I see some, some sunscreen, I see some stickers, I see a bunch of things, all right? I actually did not go through this entire thing because my brother killed me. And right over here, you have all of the Delta logos. Okay, so we're gonna lift this up, and I believe that there's some things under here too. So we're gonna take a look and see what's actually underneath this. I'm just gonna pull this out. This is sick. I'm sure, I'm sure Jacques Slade has one of these too. I don't know Jacques Slade, but shout out to Jacques Slade. People think I'm him and I'm not him. I wish I was uh, him though, because uh, he gets these things every day. I don't think he even knows who I am. Uh, so underneath, underneath you have all of the clothing and the shoes that I just talked about. It's gonna be underneath. So now I'm gonna try to take a guess exactly what is in this. So over here, it looks like we have a pair of, uh, it's like an Air Jordan a pair of pants with the uh, matching hoodie, all right? And this one says 23 Engineer, all right? Then over here, you also have another hoodie. It says 23 Engineered, all right? Nice big happy hoodie I'm stealing from my brother. Over here, you have uh, the matching uh, shorts and pants to go with it, okay? Then they also gonna give you a pair of socks with the Air Jordan logo, which uh, my brother will not be wearing. I'll be taking these from him too, okay? Over here, you have, this almost looks like a, a zip-up type. Uh, once again, you have 23 Engineered. Then, over here, uh, this looks like another pair of pants that's gonna go with the last zip up that uh, I just showed. Then, over here, this looks like a, oh, this looks dope. This looks like a, like a shirt of some sort, like a jersey type, which has the Air Jordan logo. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. That started around Air Jordan 6, I believe, when they started doing the Jumpman. Okay, over here, Man, they give you water in, they give you like water, alkaline water in, in the, in the, in the bottle. It's already in here and it's actually cold. It's, that's amazing, right? 
And finally, uh, you have another Air Jordan shirt. We have an Air Jordan on the back. 23 engineered, so this is the Delta Friends and Family box. And when all of this is emptied, it leaves you with an amazing cooler. It's almost like a regular cooler that you guys have with the drain. Over here at the top, you have the two cup holders. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, it does come on wheels, so you guys can wheel this if you want to bring this to the beach or something like that, wearing your Air Jordan slides. Uh, and on the bottom right over here, you have the Air Jordan uh, making every step fly. A Jumpman 00023, that is the sign of Delta. It's actually really cool. It's actually really, really cool. Um, I, can't, I, have no, I have no words to say about this. Uh, Evan's the man. He got this whole thing from them. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, you know, he didn't get the nerve. Yes, he did. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me here at the park. You guys know me. My name is King of Creams. You can check me out on Instagram. It's going to be right over here. It's King of Creams with a Z. I also have another Instagram, which is going to be Ice Creams 101 with a Z. Make sure you check the link for my SoundCloud. Uh, and like this, subscribe to this, tell your friends. It's probably the best review I've ever done so far. My name is King of Creams. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned for another Yellow Label episode, guys. Peace.